Bitcoin looks like it could be setting up a cup with handle pattern and looks like it could explode to over $100,000 by the end of the year. As of Friday night, Bitcoin's price was $48,000 and its market cap was $908 billion. In this video, I'm first going to go over what is a cup with handle chart pattern, including the psychology around this chart pattern. Then I'm going to talk about why I think Bitcoin could be setting up for a cup with handle breakout and three catalysts that could propel Bitcoin to over $100,000 by the end of the year. And finally, I'm going to go over my game plan for investing in Bitcoin. All this right after. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, my channel is primarily about investing for growth. If you want to learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't yet. And please remember to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, as it truly helps out the channel. And be sure to check out my Patreon if you want to get more insights into my growth-oriented investments, or if you just want to support the channel. And also, be sure to check out my free Discord to talk about Bitcoin, SPACs, and other stocks with other members of the Wolves of Investing community. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Bitcoin looks like it could be setting up a cup with handle chart pattern. So first of all, what is a cup with handle chart pattern? A cup with handle pattern is a widely used chart pattern popularized by William O'Neill in the 1980s in his classic book, How to Make Money in Stocks. A breakout from this pattern is known to have returned massive gains for traders and investors alike. So here's a chart of Bitcoin from Friday night, and here's a potential cup with handle pattern forming on Bitcoin. And we call it a cup with handle because it looks like the drawing of a cup with a handle. So the first stage of the pattern represents the initial run-up of Bitcoin that started late last year. Traders and investors alike were feeling invincible. GameStop had just gone from $4 to $400 in just a few months. People were feeling optimistic about the end of the pandemic lockdowns. Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla was putting Bitcoin on the balance sheet and accepting Bitcoin payments for Tesla vehicles. This all turned into euphoria and signifies the start of the left side of the cup. And then FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt kicked in forming the left side of the cup. Elon Musk tweeted that Bitcoin mining was too energy intensive and that Tesla would no longer accept Bitcoin for payment until Bitcoin mining came from more renewable sources of energy. After a huge pullback, Bitcoin started consolidating, forming the bottom of the cup. And then bullish news started coming left and right about Bitcoin, forming the right side of the cup. Elon Musk attended a meeting with Kathy Wood and Jack Dorsey, where he revealed that he wants Bitcoin to succeed and that he has a lot of his investments outside of Tesla in Bitcoin. Then El Salvador became the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Then as all this good news was coming out, Bitcoin has another pullback, potentially forming the left side of a handle. This is the stage where we are right now. The start of the handle is where the weak hands put selling pressure on Bitcoin. Who are the weak hands? The weak hands are people who bought Bitcoin at the initial euphoria phase at the start of the cup. They were not prepared for the volatility that comes with owning Bitcoin and are now ready to get out with an acceptable loss. It also represents some short-term traders who are very happy with the swing trade gains that they made over the course of a few weeks. 
Now, if the handle is truly forming, the strong hands will come in and give Bitcoin the support it needs in the coming weeks. This would be the bottom of the handle. If the cup with handle pattern is successful, then Bitcoin's price will surpass the peak of the handle, completing the formation of the handle. And that's where Bitcoin's price could potentially explode to over $100,000 by the end of the year. Next, we're going to talk about some short-term catalysts that could push Bitcoin higher to complete the cup with handle pattern. The first catalyst, we may see more institutions and famous investors place their bets on Bitcoin. A lot of these institutions and investors are monitoring the situation in El Salvador. They might even be sending down their own analysts to El Salvador to see how easy it is to use Bitcoin to buy a cup of coffee or pay for a hotel room. And if they get the positive data that they're looking for, that's when they'll start plowing their investments into Bitcoin. A second catalyst is the approval of a Bitcoin ETF. Both Fidelity and Kathy Wood's ARK Invest have applied for a Bitcoin ETF. If approved, that would open up the floodgates to more Bitcoin investors. And a third catalyst is a successful upgrade of Bitcoin called Taproot, expected to take place in November. The Bitcoin blockchain doesn't have major upgrades very often, so this is a big deal. The Taproot upgrade, among other things, enhances the smart contract capabilities on the Bitcoin blockchain which opens up more use cases for Bitcoin and could accelerate massive adoption for the coin. Of course, there's no telling whether or not the cup with handle will be successful, but I am keeping a close eye on its development. And if it does not follow through, then most likely we'll have to wait until the next Bitcoin halving event in 2024 before Bitcoin's next major bull run. So what is my game plan? I am a Bitcoin hodler and I have been since 2017. And my long-term price target on Bitcoin by the end of the decade is around $400,000 if Bitcoin becomes widely adopted as digital gold. And potentially $800,000 if Bitcoin also becomes widely used as a smart contract platform. However, I do believe that there are significant risks to holding Bitcoin and other cryptos as I mentioned in a previous video. The first of those risks are quantum computers potentially being able to break Bitcoin's encryption, which would render it worthless. Second, the US government could ban Bitcoin exchanges, which could slow Bitcoin's adoption to a crawl. And third, the cybersecurity risk of holding Bitcoin. If you hold Bitcoin and other cryptos, you are a target for cyber criminals that are constantly trying to steal your coins. So because of the risks, even though my long-term price target is $400,000 to $800,000 per Bitcoin, I do plan on taking some profits if Bitcoin passes $100,000, just to lower my cost basis. Between fifty dollars and $100,000, I mostly plan to just hold my Bitcoin. And if it stays below $50,000, then I mostly plan to just slowly dollar cost average into Bitcoin. I currently have enough exposure to Bitcoin and other cryptos that I'm not that interested in increasing my positions. All right, so let me know what you think about Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin going to break $100,000 by the end of the year? Drop me a line in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.